Hi dear students, we are going to study about multiplying a matrix by scalar term. In matrix algebra, the real number is called scalar. So, uh, scalar means for us any real number. And when you multiply the scalar by matrix, it's going to be it's going to be multiplied by each entry here. We are going to multiply by each entry here. Let's say C times A, C times B. C times B and C times D it's going to be. This two doesn't need to be, I mean, it is not necessary to be same. Here, another letter, it can be like F, so it's going to be C times F. If we try to understand better, we can solve these questions. Like here, A and B matrices are given, and it is asking us to find what is 3A. As you understand from the here, 3 times A, it should be 1, 2, 4, and minus 3, 0, minus 1, 2, 1, and 2, it's going to be. And I'm here trying to explain this one, and here uh, 3 times 1, it should be equal to 3. For the first exercise, maybe I will show like 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 4. Then 3 times minus 3, minus 3, 3 times 0, 3 times minus 1. And here, when it is negative number, we can put here 3 times 2, 3 times 1, and 3 times 2, it's going to be again. And the result here, it's going to be equal to multiplication of this uh, these entries. 3 times 1 is equal to 3, 3 times 2 is equal to 6, 3 times 4 is equal to 12, 3 times minus 3 is equal to minus 9, 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times minus 1 minus 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 it is equal to 6, this is 3, 3 times 1 is equal to 3, 3 times 2 is equal to 6 again it's going to be, so this matrix it's going to be equal to 3A matrix. 3a matrix. So, uh, how we are going to find minus b, and uh, we are going to multiply each entry by minus 1, because minus b means equal to minus 1 times b, so it's going to be equal to, directly I'm going to write here, minus 2, 0, 0, uh, there's no negativeness for 0, there are neutral numbers, minus 1, minus times minus 4, it's going to be equal to uh, minus 1 times minus 4, it's equal to 4, and minus 3, minus 1 times 3 is equal to minus 3, minus times minus 1 times minus 1 is equal to 1, and here this is going to be minus 1 times 3, here it's equal to minus 3, and minus 1 times 2 is going to be equal to uh, minus 2 which is equal to minus 2, it should be, then, here, this is 3a, then this is minus b, and when you say 3a minus b, 3a minus b, I didn't write the 3a minus b here, uh, but uh, we have to be careful here, while we are uh, subtracting this one from this one, because uh, this is normally minus b, which means this is 3a plus, to find minus b, it should be. To find this value, c value I'm talking about here, 3a plus minus b, it should be, because we have find the minus b. When you add these two, you can find the result of this matrix, but we will solve this one in the class. So I'm going to leave for the class this one. Let's continue with the other one. Here, uh, it's asking us to find the uh, x and y value, and first there is parenthesis. So we should firstly do the operation inside the parenthesis. Then, here, this is going to be 2 times in parenthesis. Uh, if we add them, 3 plus minus 3 is equal to, here it's going to be equal to 0. 2x plus 5, it's going to be 2x plus 5, because you cannot add 
unknown term by the integer 6 minus 3y again it's going to stay 6 minus 3y 4 plus 3 it's going to be equal to 7 so when we close this one here this is equal to 0 18 6 and 14 it has to be now what I'm going to do I'm going to multiply these two by each entry which is equal to 2 times 0 is going to be equal to and directly I'm going to multiply 0 2 times 2x plus 5 it's going to be equal to 2 times I want to do here like this 2x plus 5 you know you are going to multiply by 2 then by 5 which means this is equal to 4x plus 10 it's going to be if I do the same thing here for 2 times 6 minus 3y 1 by 1 if I multiply 2 times 6 is equal to 12 2 times minus 3y is equal to minus 6y it has to be and this is uh, 2 times 7 which is equal to 14 it has to be so as you see here if it's equal to uh, 0 18 uh, 6 and 14 these two entries also same this one and this one here they are equal to each other so 0 is equal to 0 14 is equal to 14 then it must be like this 4x plus 4x plus 10 it's equal to 18 which means 4x plus 10 is equal to 18 and the second one second one 12 minus 6y it's equal to 6 which means 12 minus 6y equals to 6 let's continue with the 4x plus 10 is equal to 18 4x is equal to 18 minus 10 4x is equal to 8 x is equal to 8 over 4 it has to be and x is equal to 2 what about 12 minus 6y is equal to 6 12 minus 6 let me change the color here I think I have chosen this one 12 minus 6 is equal to 6y it has to be to, uh, 12 minus 6 is equal to 6 6 is equal to 6y then 6 divided by 6 is equal to y which means y is equal to 1 it has to be this is the answer of the question whole question it should be let's skip to the next question here we are going to find 3a minus 2b then we are going to find this is the c it's going to be and we are going to find c21 and c13 c21 first i need to remind c21 it's equal to second row first column it should be so firstly i need to find 3a plus 3a minus 2b let's do this operation 3a minus 2b this is equal to c which is equal to 3 times i'm going to rewrite this one here 5 4 4 minus 3 1 2 and minus 2b it's going to be equal to minus 2 times minus 2 times or uh, 2 times 1 2 minus 7 here 0 minus 5 and 1 it has to be and now I have to do here 3 times 5 it's equal to 15 3 times 4 it's equal to 12 3 times 4 it's going to be 12 3 times minus 3 it's equal to minus 9 3 times 1 3 3 times 2 6 it has to be this is 3a now I'm going to find minus 2b but I'm going to keep the minus sign so I'm going to multiply by only 2 which is equal to 2 times 1 is equal to 2 2 times 2 is equal to 4 2 times minus 7 is equal to minus 14 2 times 0 is equal to 0 2 times minus 5 minus 10 2 times 1 is equal to 2 now I'm going to subtract the first matrix from the second matrix from the first matrix which means this is going to be 15 minus 2 15 minus 2 12 minus 4 12 minus minus 14 minus 9 minus 0 
3 minus minus 10 6 minus 2 it should be since it is subtraction I did the operations in this way I did the operations one by one not to make mistake I'll offer you in during the exam uh, to do the operations like this not to make mistake because sometimes we can confuse the numbers here that's why it's going to be in this form so 13 and uh, 8 was easy but here 12 minus minus 14 it's going to be which is 12 plus 14 that's 26 minus 9 minus 0 it's equal to minus 9 nothing changed here 3 minus minus 10 it's equal to 3 plus 10 which is equal to 13 and 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 it should be so this is the answer of 3a minus 2b which is equal to c and it is asking what is c21 here c21 second row and first column uh, second row first column is equal to minus 9 and the second one c13 first row third column c13 it's going to be equal to 26 and this is the end of our video